speak about one last concern associated with fixed object collisions. That concern is distracted driving. We're not talking about the cell phone here, although that can definitely be a distraction, but rather your focus when pulling into, and more importantly, driving away from a customer location. Too often we hear the reason given for a collision was that a driver was in a hurry. That implies that the driver was working too fast. Generally, working fast doesn't mean you can't work safe. It just means you need to be 100% focused on the task at hand. More times than not, when a driver says he was in a hurry, his mind was not on the maneuver he was making, but fixed on his next stop or calculating what time he will be finished with his run. These concerns are valid. You don't want to be late for a delivery or a personal commitment, but there are too many hazards at any stop to be focused on anything but your safe exit. Another common collision is where we pull in near a hazard and make a mental note to avoid it when leaving. However, when we switch our focus, it rarely ever returns to the hazard. And more times than not, we experience a collision. That's why it is always a good idea to avoid stopping near a hazard. If that's not possible, before you put your vehicle back into motion, perform a safety circle check. Take a quick walk around your vehicle to refocus on those hazards around and above your vehicle. Generally, collisions that occur because the driver was in a hurry occur because A. The driver was working too fast. B. The driver was using a spotter. C. The driver was not mentally focused on the driving maneuver he was performing at the time of the collision. D. All of the above. That's correct. When a driver gets into a collision because he is in a hurry, what it usually means is that the driver was not mentally focused on the driving maneuver he was performing at the time of the collision. Fixed object collisions are not always the result of poor driving. A fixed object collision can also be the result of parking improperly. We've had collisions where drivers did not set the brakes in a lot because they were just going to be right back and there was not a noticeable grade, only to be surprised when their truck started rolling. Always set your parking brake when stopped for delivery or pickup, regardless of how long you think you will be gone and how steep or flat you think the area is where you are stopped. If a specific delivery requires stopping on a steep incline, ask your manager for a chalk. Take the necessary steps to ensure your vehicle will not move while parked. 